Hi, I'm Quentin Jackson. No. I'm Harry Couch on Level 3 Extended Drama, period, drama thingy, performing arts. Go, oh, well, okay. My film is called The Lonely Dictator, and it was made in the bowels of depression and hopelessness in the pandemic, shortly after Christmas when I was very drunk. Um, so, yeah, it was very stressful. I spent a lot more time banging my head against walls than I did anything else. And the film gave me something to focus on, rather than loneliness and the sad flower that dies within us at that time. Well, it was all shot, my film, on an iPhone, what well, I'm, I'm told is an iPhone 7, I thought it was an iPhone 6, but it's an iPhone 7. Um, and they, uh, we were taught really how to use them, and how they work, and how to make them professional and look good with phones. And also how to make it sound properly, because you'd hate to get there and then no one hear it, so yeah. Sound wise, also. The process was wonderful. Nothing bad happened. I started it in January. I finished it a week before it was meant to go in. Perfectly done. All the paperwork finished. Everything great, wonderful, and I'm so happy with the final product. Whenever I watch it, I scream like a little girl. Until I deleted it in the last month. And I had a mental breakdown in the first week. Now you see, I like this costume for the roller skating monk. I just worry it's too reflective for the camera. Oh no, with the lighting specifications for dim, like, like dimmy the club scene, it should be okay. I mean, we can always make two. One for the people, disco dancer, yeah. and then one for the scene. Mm, wonderful, all right, yes. And can't you give one behind the island and just Oh, yes. Yeah, I'd love this too. Blue. Yeah, it's like it's cold, they're not getting all warm as well. Oh, you mean this bat thing? Yeah. I mean, you know, they're getting really warm as well, so. Well, I'm saying it could be big. Yeah. Not now. <laughs> Maybe in the 1400s, but that sort of thing could never happen now. <laughs> Kingdom has been engaged in a great national effort. Been briefed by the CDC. Yeah, it, are the words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all, and uh, we're we have it totally under control. Ваше святейшество, сердечно приветствую вас на заседании 22 Всемирного Русского Народного Собора. I am speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time. She was the force's sweetheart. His body can't function normally because he's sedated and being kept alive by a ventilator. This is now standard respiratory care. Wash your hands and stay indoors. Thank you, baked potato. To fight COVID. And there's no doubt. It's being dubbed the COVID joyride. 
Last night, the president, who's still infectious, decided he wanted to wave to his supporters outside the Walter Reed Hospital. The six-lane highway was cleared. Secret Service guards found out. Stumble to the kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping. Out on the streets, the traffic starts jumping with folks like me on the job from nine to five. Working nine to five. What a Easily the most boring day of my life. I didn't even get dressed, did I, darling? No. Well, tomorrow will be better, I suppose. Go for a nice long walk? Yeah, go out to the park. Don't you worry, darling. Oh, good night. I love you. Oh, God, Millie. Darling, open a window. That fucking reeks. Millicent, do you think you could do that again? Huh. And I always thought that was a myth. Oh, good to know.
Now fuck both. Oh. So how's it going? Well, you know how it is. It's a terrible time for all of us, but we're getting through it. How about you? Well, you know how it is. No theatres means no shows, which means no actors, which means no bookings, which means no need for a manager, which means no money for Cosmo. Oh. Oh. I, I see you've been reading. Well, only before bed, I mean, there's, there's bugger all else to do, is there? Uh, do you mind if I have a drag? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? You're my manager. Your job is to manage my career. And all you can ask me is if you're allowed a cigarette. Or what do you want me to do, daughter? Netflix has suspended all of their programming, as have the BBC, ITV, Amazon Prime, HBO. The most interesting form of entertainment out there at the moment is, 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 is I haven't a clue on BBC Radio 4. Well, surely there's something. I mean, I'm, I'm barely keeping the lights on here. What about this, this big night in shit? Or that ca Captain, Captain Tom fella. You mean Captain Sir Tom Moore? That's the one. I've had enough of him all over my bloody telly. Don't you slander him, that man's a hero. Hero? He's a millionaire cement baron who raised a few pennies for a criminally underfunded public necessity. But he is always on the telly. I, uh... I believe there's even talk of a knighthood, you know. A knighthood? I did three weeks in Edinburgh on a £1,500 budget. It's me who deserves a knighthood, darling. But still, this is excellent spin. Who represents him? I might switch. You're looking at him, darling. But to be fair, he gives me 30% of his commission, as opposed to your penal at 10%. You can have 30% of my next commission, if it's any good. I got an email from this vlogger up in Kirby. Kirby? Kirby, where's that? Up north somewhere. She runs an animal rescue centre and she'd like you to appear in the promo for her next fundraiser. No. What's the pay like? No, no, no. There's no money, they don't pay you. They, they're a charity, they want your services gratis. Mm -hmm. Fuck off! I'll give you Pip Schofield's number, he'll do anything for an adoring audience. <coughs> oh, this could be good! I mean, one day, it's an animal rescue centre in Kirby, but one day it could be Red Nose Day, or, 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 or Children and in Need. It could be very good for your career. Well, all right then, I'll do it. But in the meantime, you need to find me some paid acting work. I'm sorry, daughter, there's just nothing out there. Well, it was lovely seeing you, Cosmo, if you'd like a bit of help with finding the door. You know. All right, all right, Jay. I, um, Have you heard of Lanston's Jam? Lanston's Jam, an advert? I'm not doing an advert, Cosmo. I'm a household name. Ian McKellen bakes me bloody rye bread. Joe Lice has got a toothbrush in my bathroom. I have weekly lunches with Olivia Coleman for fuck's sake. I don't do adverts. The repeat fee is 20% of your initial commission. Oh, come on, all you're doing is playing Lego and WhatsApp and Hugh Dennis. Fine. But only if you take a cut in your fee. Ah! You heartless bastard, I've treated you like a son. Yeah, like a bastard, son. Oh, charming! Fuck off. I'm out of here. Sweet. Juicy.
good for the cola. Light and scent. Lanston's jam, like eating pure gold. His manners were a fraction too meticulous. If he was real or not, I couldn't tell. But like a silly fool, I fell mad about the boy. I know it's stupid to be mad about the boy. I'm so ashamed of it, but must admit the sleepless nights I've had about the boy. On the silver screen, he melts my foolish heart in every single scene. Although I'm well aware that here and there are traces of the cat about the boy. Lord knows I'm not a fool girl. I really shouldn't care. Lord knows I'm not a schoolgirl in the flurry of. A fan. Will it ever climb this odd diversity of misery and joy? I'm feeling quite insane and young again, and all because I'm mad about the boy. Darling, I haven't heard from you in so long. I was getting sick with worry. Wasn't I, dear? Yes. Yes, you see, your father's nodding. Mum, it, it's only been three days. Mm -hmm. Three days? Yes, three days. There was a time, my little lambkin, where, you were, where we were inseparable. Do you remember, darling? Yes, you see, your father remembers. Nine months I carried you in my tummy. Do you remember? N no, Mother. No. No, I was a fetus. Mm, don't you swear at me, my boy. I'm still your mother. You're not too big to go over my knee. Well, all, all right, Mum. All right. I'm sorry, Mum. I've just, I've just been a oh. little bit busy. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Isolating with someone, were you? Yes, you see, your father knew it would be something like that. Who was it then? Anyone we know? No, no Mother, nothing like that. Oh, you mean it was a boy? Oh, Father said it would be. I knew it. It's all these films you do. Yes, he is mucky films. Mother, I'm a BAFTA award-winning actor and director. Oh, it's all these—it's all these liberal friends, isn't it? Lefties turning you gay, aren't they? Mum, would you stop? Would you just stop? Just stop for a minute, please. Look, I called you to see how you were, right? I called you on Monday. Now it is Thursday. I'm sorry, I'll call you more often. I'm not having liberal sex parties. <laughs> no, Mother, look. I've just been busy, you know, trying to hold my career together. It's all already in ruins on the floor because of this fucking virus. I've just called my mum to see how you are. So would you please just leave all this stuff with the sex parties so we can talk? I saw your advert. Oh, well, what did you think? 
Well, I always buy tip tree. Tip tree jam, you know. But it was nice to see you on the telly again. I didn't know you did adverts. No, Mum, I, I don't usually, but there was nothing else. And, you know, I've got to pay the bills. Uh, what about your manager? Your, your manager? Can't he find anything? Not really. You see, there just is nothing out there. Yes, you see, I, I, was, I was saying to Esther next door over the garden wall last night, my son is the most wonderful actor. <laughs> He's mm. a real star, I said. Do you know what she said to me? Mm. No, Mother. She said, she said she'd never seen one of your films. Can you believe that? Well, you see, we... Yes, you, I can. I can. Do you know why? That manager of yours, he's a crook. No, Mother, he's not a crook. It's simply the fact that there are... that, that 80-year-old women who live in rural Kent and stink of talcum powder and, 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 and soiled incontinence pads aren't really our target audience, are they? Have you been... have you been drinking? Because just because you're angry at me, presumably drunk, it doesn't mean you can slander my best friend. Mum, I'm not drunk, alright? But my career, which is currently in pieces on the floor, is being devaluated by a urine so bint. Well, I don't, I don't think it's very nice of you. She sent you £20 at Christmas. Anyway, how are you doing, darling? Your mother worries. I'm not too well, Mum, no. You're not stuffing yourself with curly whirlies and rubbish, are you? An apple a day stops your mother worrying. No, Mum, it's, it's nothing like that. I'm fine. I'm fine physically. I'm just, I'm just a bit depressed. Mm, depressed, darling. Oh, stop it, Bert. He'll talk to you in a minute. Mm. Sorry, darling. Your dad wants to talk to you. Oh, all right. Put him on. No, darling, no. I'm not finished. When you're... <sighs> You got me worried, my love. Why are you depressed? You're a very happy boy. It it doesn't matter. Look, how are you? Well, I'm all right, you know. My hips acting up, and then I couldn't get my stamp book do done. To speak to your father, dear. Jeremy, Jeremy, huh? darling, love are you there? Sorry, what? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, mum. Lovely, lovely to talk to you, my darling. Yeah, uh, and you. All right. Yeah, bye, Mum. Hello, son. Sorry I took so long to come to the phone. She bored me to sleep. I'll get you! Ow! Me too, Dad. So how have you been? Well, not good, you know, Dad. Yeah, you remember when you were little and I was sacked from the paper? Yeah, I had to go to school with cornflake boxes in my shoes. <laughs> exactly. But we got through. It'll just take time. Don't you worry, son. Thanks, Dad. Hey, guess what I've been up to? No, what? I've started to paint live models. Like, like nude models? Sometimes. Really? What sort of thing? Certainly not your mother. Don't you dare! Ow! Anyway, how's your garden? Not bad, you know. The tulips have died off, but the blossoms are coming in. That's it. Find something to do. Clean up the place. Or paint that back bedroom like you've been meaning to. Well, you know, my uh, my hair does need a trim. You see, do anything. But just sitting there drinking and smoking weed's gonna do fuck all. Don't you swear! Ow! I'd better go, son. But you should think about what I've said. All right, darling. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Jeremy, don't be a tip. Thanks, Dad. Hello? I know, Cosmo. I'm I've got a team meeting with who? Oh! Oh, the animal sanctuary thing. When? Tomorrow? Oh, thanks for the bloody warning. Well aware that here and there
dangerous drug, giving up smoking, taking it up again, giving it up again, taking it up again, giving, taking it up and taking, giving it up again and again and again. Hello? 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 Right, hello? Hello. Yes, hello. Right. Uh, hello. Yeah, okay. Right. Where am I? Where would you want to be? Well, I, I don't know. Quite like to be in a 90s gay bar in Germany, but... Christ! How do, where, where the fuck are you? Where am I? What is this? Some kind of joke? No, my little dear. What? I am a spirit. A spirit? Yeah. Bacardi or, 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 or brandy? Oh. <laughs> uh, charming, aren't I? Oh. Yeah. No, I'm not a drinker. However, I am a spirit here to guide you through this adventure you're on. Right, well... You haven't really answered my question as to where we are, but all right. What adventure is this? You don't remember what you just did, do you? Well, I was in the bath. Something may have happened, but that's between me and the suds. It was quite shocking. I get that some sort of pun, probably, but because I don't remember what happened, I don't get oh, the joke. Oh, sorry. You okay. tried to kill yourself in the bath with a radio. <laughs> Right, okay. Now my pun works. It, well, it's a bit sick, but okay. So you're some sort of like, I suppose, angel, because... No, 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 no. We don't say angel. It's right. very different things. Right. There has been was. Oh, right. So, I am a spirit. Right. You are not dead. I'm not dead? No. Oh, bugger. You can't even get that right. You're my subconscious. You should do whatever I say. Not here to criticise me, I'm dear. I'm here to explain why right. you're here. Right, right. We didn't feel like it was your time to go. So we've brought you here. This is nothing, but it is everything. Nothing but everything. That's what I tell people when I'm in bed, but they don't seem to get it. Oh, you're so funny. Thank you. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> anything you want, you can have. Anything can happen here. So I can go to my happy place? Of course you can. Right then. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's truly a real honorable experience to be here this evening. 
a very wonderful and warm and emotional moment for all of us. And I'd like to sing a song for all of you. So you know everything I'm doing and or thinking? Yes. What am I thinking about right this second? Very, very naked. Witchcraft! Like I said, anything can happen here. We want you to be happy. We want you to have a good experience. Anything can happen? Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything? I'm going to stop you right there. Say it one more time, I'll kill you myself. Right, well. You don't watch many films, do you? So anything I want can happen. Yes. Ready? Let's count with me. Three, two. You didn't do it. One. Hark, hark those church bells ring. It's Christmas in heaven. The snow falls from the sky. But it's nice and warm and everyone looks smart. Wow, this is really fun. Yeah. Am I remembering any of this? Like, can I write it down when I wake up? No. Uh, it's uh, like a dream. You have uh, dreams that you remember, but you have dreams that you forget. I thought the next film would write itself. Where is our time? It's Christmas, it's Christmas in heaven. Hip, 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 Let's get serious for a minute. I know you can't do it. Well, it doesn't really go with the tone of the film, but all right. We're going to have to. Ah. You're here for a visa. Right. We want to look after you. Look after me? We didn't think it was your time. To die? To die. Mm. You have so much to offer the world. Do I? In television. Really? Movies. Really? And car film warehouse adverts. You heard back? I heard back. Oh my god, did I get it? Ah! Philip Schofield, fuck off. Carry on. We just want to make you feel welcomed. We know you live alone. You miss the stage. Oh, right. You're fading off. Am I just with the vision? Okay. I think they're going to keep me here till I, I don't know, have some sort of epiphany. Does that count? The fart? No! Uh -huh. So it's something about loneliness. Something about drinking. I need to walk the dog more? No! Hmm. Well, come back. Don't just float off. What's this lesson I need to learn? Come on. It's not about drinking. Or the dog or farting. No, but they are problems. They are very yeah. big problems. Yeah. It's about you. Me? What do you want in life? Well, I've got a big house. A dog. A cellar full of booze. But that's not what you want, is it? Got a few BAFTAs. Do Judy Dench's home number. They are all very nice things, Harry. Yeah, I know. You are living a life of luxury, but... We've even got the E-Type on loan. Oh, God. That does not bring you comfort. It does not make you happy. What is it right now that you want? Go into a coma for 20 years. While in that coma, I find love in a, a life that's not real outside of my head. I find love. I have six beautiful children out of ten very ugly ones. And... And, 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 and my wife is a woman called Anne Sinclair, and we live happily ever after teaching children how to fart the alphabet in the Swiss hills. But then I wake up and the pandemic is over, but I've just spent 20 years wasting away in a bed, and all my friends have got old and died, and no one wants to watch my films anymore because I'm no longer relevant, because it's all just recycled Monty Python. And then, and then, and then everyone hates me, and I lose that... Ah. Right. We're going to stop there. Right. You want love and you want the end of the pandemic. Yes, they're yes. two things I'd like. Right. right, that's my job done. Okay. Goodbye. Well, the angel's gone. Oh, um. Springtime for Hitler, ladies and gentlemen. Just a paper hanger, no one more obscure. Got a phone call from the Reichstag, told me I was pure. Germany was blue, oh, 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 what to do? Hitch 
Zipped up my pants and conquered France. Now Deutschland smiling through. reported globally that every trace of the 19th strain of coronavirus has vanished in the space of three hours during the night. It is as though the past three months were simply a case of mass, even global, hysteria. The Home Office has reported a complete national absence of the human strain, and the Foreign Office are reporting the same globally. The... <laughs>